Now, let's get straight into it because, by God, it has been an absolute cracker of a news week with all the news about stuff that isn't really news causing international outrage. Yes, it is 2022. And this time, the Sydney Morning Herald has had its proverbial handed to it by Twitter and social media and <laughs> outlets across the world, including Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> We'll get to that. Um, after it pursued a story on Australian actress and comedian Rebel Wilson's new relationship with Ramona, a groomer, which is an awesome byline, um, which, well, the Herald didn't actually out Rebel and Ramona. It, it, it asked if, if they could or it said that they were going to put in a gossip column that they were together, said, can you get back to us by this time and then... Rebel subsequently outed herself on Instagram, although I don't know if she's out or if she's just seeing a chick because she's I'd buy or well, I don't know. But anyway, a lot of people are very, very unhappy. SMH editor Bevan Shields initially defended the story before folding like a house of cards and <laughs> issuing... It's a bit of a recurring theme, isn't it? First you issue the apology, then you issue the apology. <laughs> but I'm sorry I didn't apologise enough during my previous apology for something that I didn't really know. Oh, my God in heaven. All right. Who do we blame for Rebel Wilson... Being gay, no, being outed or outing herself on Insta or this whole mess. Eamon Fitzpatrick, let's go to you. I've got to blame the right and I've got to blame the right-wing media of which the Sydney Morning Herald, despite the way it positions itself, is actually the leading right-wing... The leading right-wing media right. outlet they, on behalf oh, of the wow. Maddox press. on the Thank front you. page, all in colour, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> At least use them as completely honest about where things go. But anyway, so in this case, I reckon that's clearly what's happened. I mean, in 2022, how is someone's sexuality even a story? Does mm. anyone care anymore? So the way I understand this is is that because it's the first time I think there's been, you know, she's talked about a same-sex, being in a same-sex relationship. So the issue has been whether she, she should have chosen the timing. And so putting a two-day deadline on someone is just completely out of control. But is it even out of Isn't it just a gossip cult item about hookups and breakups? And yes, oh, Rebel Wilson, famous Hollywood superstar, has hooked up with this person. She just happens to be cheap. Maybe they didn't really care. I mean, the gossip columnists, mm. and I believe the editor, are both gay. I don't think they're homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy world in which we um, yes. But this, 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 it gets even better because check out this story in the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail has got a hold of Hugh Sheridan in an exclusive, reveals his pain and anguish at having his own coming out uh, revealed by the Sydney Morning Herald, the same columnist. So the real story here, I don't think, is who's coming out, who's out, who's in. The real story here is that Daily Mail mm -hmm. is now hanging crap on the Sydney Morning Herald for being too trashy. How did this happen? Todd Hayward, 30 seconds. Who do we blame for this? I'm not blaming anyone. I'm, I'm celebrating this because this could be the death of the gossip column. Yay! Right? Because, and here's the thing about gossip. Everyone loves gossip, but they hate gossip columnists. So yeah. now, with everyone outing themselves or getting out ahead of the gossip cause, this could be the way it goes on from here. From here. But I think Andrew Hornery is setting... Who does he think he is? He's not Lady Whistledown. He's not mm. some celebrity himself. So he, mm. he wrote a piece saying, I was basically scooped by Rebel Wilson. Why does yeah. he think he's got more of a right to... to um, declare her relationship than she does? Well, I think... That, but this is the whole story. The real story here is you had a gossip columnist with nothing to write about for his gossip column. Yeah. Like, it is literally a nothing story yeah. because he's writing, oh, I was going to put this here, but now I don't have it anymore because Rebel Wilson did it herself. Mm. He's, so also actually... revealed, he's also revealed the secret source a little bit mm. by saying, well, sometimes these actors and their agents re rely on us to promote stories we know aren't true just to give them a bit of a leg up for the next role. Mm. Well, you know, you can't have it both ways. Right. That's, that's what I'm at. It's the scandal. Gossip columnist writes gossip column. <laughs> Shock horror. Um, look, maybe there is a clue. And I, as you know, as soon as I found that story, I went down the Daily Mail rabbit hole. <laughs> and so maybe there is a reason why Rebel Wilson is now dating a woman. 